Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do is just a quick video on a couple of problems that involve the Pythagorean theorem. So, this first problem is asking us to find the area of this triangle right here. But we have to be careful. Now, right away, a lot of people think that they just find the missing side, and then they're done. And now, that's part of what we have to do in order to find the area of this triangle. And another common mistake is that some people think that you just use these two numbers to do your calculation to find the area of a triangle. Now remember, to find the area of any triangle, we must multiply the base of the triangle by its height and then divide that by two. Now, 12 and 13 aren't the base and height of our triangle. Now, 12 can be considered the base, but the height is from the highest point of our triangle straight down. So this line right here is the height of our triangle. So we have to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what this missing leg is. Now the two sides that form our right angle are always considered sides A and sides B. And what is given here is the hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and set up our equation. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And then we're going to plug in the only given leg into A. So we're going to write 12 squared plus B squared is equal to the given hypotenuse of 13 squared. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this equation like this. I'm going to slide down the b squared, and I'm going to move this term to the other side of our equation. So I'm going to write 13 squared minus 12 to the second power. So whenever you are trying to calculate for the length of a missing leg, there's going to be some subtraction involved in your calculation. So what we're going to do next is we are going to write b squared is equal to 13 squared, which is 169, and 12 squared is 144. And now we're going to write b squared is equal to the difference of these two values, which is 25. And then we take the square root of 25 to say that b is equal to 5. So the height of this triangle is exactly 5 centimeters. Now we have the information we need to calculate the area of this triangle. So let's go ahead and multiply our base of 12 and our height of 5 and divide that total by 2. So essentially we just have an area that is equal to 60 divided by 2, which is equal to 30 square centimeters. Now one thing that we should remember about any right triangle is that the two legs that form the right angle of our right triangle can always be considered the base and the height of the triangle. Now, you could use 13 as a base if you knew what the height would be perpendicular to the height of 13. But it's not given in this case and there's not enough information there. So it's just easier to use the two sides that make your right angle as the base and the height. All right, let's go ahead and do one more example. Okay, for this problem, we have to find the length of our missing side, which is clearly a hypotenuse because it is located opposite of our right angle. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to take our two legs and square them. So we have the square root of three squared. And then we have to add that to the square of the other leg, which is the square root of six. So we have to square that. And that is going to be equal to c squared. Now. Whenever you are squaring the square root of something, the exponent of 2 and the square root symbol, or the radical, just cancel each other out. So the square root of 3 squared is just 3. And the same thing is true right here. We can cancel out this square root symbol and the exponent of 2, giving us just 6, and set that equal to c squared. Now, why does that work? Well, let's think about it for a minute. Let's just say, for example, you had the value 3 squared. We know that's equal to 9. And then if we took the square root of 9, then we would be back at 3. So the square root of 3 squared is 3, and the square root of 6 squared is 6. So now we just add 3 and 6, and that is 9, and that is equal to c squared. And to figure out what c is, we just take the square root of 9. And that is going to leave us with C being equal to 3 units. So our missing side of this triangle is just 3. 
Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this map tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Till next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.